it's all over. It's all over one at a time. Every time I get in a room with one of these people and they have a conversion, it's 10 more at home that have it. It's 100 more. It's all over. That's why I tell them, just come get me now. Why are you wasting time? Just write up the fake-ass charges, carry me off, behead me, or stick me somewhere for 10 to 20 years. Because if you don't, it's over. I'll see you later. You're going to sleep, Mr. Wizard? I'll see you later, sir. Peace and blessings to you. Get some rest. All right. Um, who's the most dangerous man in the world? All right, now look, I'm going to talk very personally at the moment about a certain thing, right? Because it's becoming more and more clear to me. More and more clear to me what they've done, you know? And when you start feeling some sort of, like, energy as a man and you start feeling and you have some sort of chagrin in your voice, right? You understand what they've done to everyone. They've had to submit. Segway back. Who's the most dangerous man in the world? Uh, and I can say 100% as a fact that men like Paul Enslaved are the most dangerous men in this world to the establishment, all right? To the establishment, to the established make-believe order that we have to follow their rules and, and comply to their submissive ways and how we're supposed to live in this world and how we're supposed to live, especially as men. I can speak mostly for men, but they've done it on women as well, all right? They've had, they've, they're having us submit and we have an inside heart and mind control. They've suppressed this in a way that we cannot even fathom because once you're in it, you just think, oh, well, I'm used to this now. I'm used to being a fucking neutered house dog. All right, so the most dangerous man to the corporate system is people like Paul Enslaved and the Christed Being 2,000 years ago. He was teaching people the exact same thing. All right, stand up have that energy flow through your system, through your psychic system, through your nervous system, and, and he's the most dangerous man in the world. And if you think that, that this man is not, does not have his life in danger, then you're deluded as well. Of course he has it, he knows that, you know? But anyone that lays a hand on him Anyone that lays a hand on him, will, he will, they will reap the benefits. They, will, they won't reap any benefits whatsoever. They will reap the wrath of the Creator in ways that you will not possibly ever fucking know or understand, motherfucker. Do you understand? Do you understand? And I speak this way because I feel it in my own heart and mind in loads of ways and my vibration. I, I can do things now that I could never do before. Never do before. I can just stop people and talk to people, not stop them, you know what I mean, I, I have the strength to be, a mo to be a moron, to be strong, to be, have different things running through my system, right, and I was doing my own work before I came in contact with Paul Enslaved, okay, I was doing for years and years and years, I was doing things in secret, other people that knew me didn't even know what I was doing because I was operating in an invisible stealth mode, to try and get out of the trap. I knew years ago that there was something seriously wrong with not the world, with me, with my own psychic system, with my own internal vibration. I knew that, all right? And you fucking dizzy ass motherfuckers are out there blaming and, confu and, and complaining about the world. What are you doing about anything, dude? But to go back to that part is what this video was really about. The most dangerous man alive is people like Paul Enslaved. If you don't, like I said, if you don't know that, then you have a lot to learn, dude. You know, and he's putting himself in incredible jeopardy, like the Christ of being was, because why is the most dangerous person is this, right? And he talked about it on the show last night a tiny little bit. I might, I may put that on this little video maybe, right? Is that even though I was doing my own work, it wasn't completely to do with coming in contact with Paul, but he put, tipped me over the edge the way he was, right? And we're giving up an amazing freedom to be submitted to a system that is run by men, not the creator. Paul Enslaved is the most dangerous man because I can teach other people now, that's what my YouTube videos are about. They're about, they're about being in service to men and women, all right? 
uh, because once you get out of the trap even a tiny bit, you don't want to see your fellow man and, man and woman walking around like a, like, a, like a dead corpse. You don't want that, even though I will stay away from them to a certain point because it doesn't operate the way the mind thinks it operates. It operates a different way. It's a completely different jurisdiction, right? So he is the most dangerous man because and Christ of being was the most dangerous man. I understand this now. It isn't people with, with loud mouths and all the rest of it. It's people like him who have a care in their heart and stand on truth. Because it once we understand what's happened and we want our real life back, our energetic vibration through the nervous system, once we, once we have that back and we can stand and we can talk and we can use our voice and we can be fucking strong, right? Once we have that, once we have that, I can pass it on to other people. So... But he is the catalyst because he's on such a high high level, right? And he ha people like him are the ultimate danger to the corporate system simply because they don't want him spreading out anything. Imagine if the rest of these slaves start having a knock-on effect about that they can stand in their own true power under the creator, under God, which is natural law, which is common law, which is the law that we are genuinely in. We're not in the law of the sea, motherfucker. We're in the, on the law of the land, God's law. Do you understand? So Paul's Paul is the most dangerous man on this planet because he can he can sit in a in an American trailer and a drive and a, and a drive outside the dri the driveway, and he can be the most powerful man in the world. The Christ of being only had a few places around Jerusalem and stuff, right? To walk around and, and and preach and do and do all that kind of stuff and tell people what was going on. Here's the fire, motherfucker! Take the fucking fire! Take the fucking fire! Not the stupid fucking uh, dead fucking. Uh, Pharisees nonsense he can broadcast everywhere it's going to grow and grow and grow so he is his life is his life is in jeopardy from these corporate devils that will change their costume at will and do all the, all kinds of duplicitous tricks on this man and if anything happens to him I think twice about doing anything to that man in any way whatsoever because you will regret it. You will fucking regret it. You know, and I love Paul and I'll always stand with the man because I know who and what he is and I know what he represents. All right, so I love the man. And that will not change. You can't. <laughs>